Hello, welcome. It's Susan Taylor Shire, intuitive counselor and lover of life. This is Soul Mastery and this is Treasure Chest Tuesday. Today we're going to do a, what shall we call it, tutorial? Something I've mentioned many times before and one of my favorite topics and I seem to say that a lot but I wouldn't talk about something unless it was one of my favorite things to talk about. Soul level manifestation. The soul of manifestation. Soulful manifestation. I think you get the picture. <laughs> so I hear all the time, and this is an answer to uh, somebody's question for me to speak more about this. I hear all the time people speaking about um, not just manifesting, but I've been working on my intentions, I've been trying to manifest this, I've done everything I know possible, and it still hasn't manifested. And so, for years now, I've helped people work from a soul level, as you know, and in that regard, what happens is, it, I realized that unless you bring the soulfulness of creation, spirit, your soul, the abundance of the universe into what you want to manifest, then a big key ingredient is missing. Because your manifestation isn't just about what little old you wants, right? You know that. You've been um, on this path for a long time. You know it's not about just you. It's not about your willpower. It's not about uh, making it happen. You know all those things. And at the same time, well, how else do I do it? I feel what it feels like to have the car. I feel what it feels like for that new house to arrive. I feel what it feels like to have that soulmate show up at my door. I know exactly what I want in that regard. Why isn't it happening? Well, here is a key for you. Yay. Okay. If you want something to occur, and you're connected to spirit, then you want it to be a soulful crea creation, right? Yes. So how do you engage the soul and spirit in what is important to you? First, the heart. Bring in your heart. We manifest through the heart. We get connected to spirit through the heart. So you're going to start by being in your heart by thinking of something you love or appreciate until you feel something shift in your heart, then you're going to put your attention on what you want to not manifest, but create. Because then you get in touch with the fact that you are a grand creator. Very different from manifestation, which is can be just an idea. A good one, but just an idea. This is what I want comes from the head and then saying, I want to create, comes from a deeper place inside. And you start to instill all of creation in what it is you're creating, not just manifesting. So next step, consider the essence, or maybe a couple of essences, but maybe start with one. The essence of what it is that's most valuable to you when you say you want to manifest more money. What is that for? What will it give you? What is it you truly want? What's the essence, the quality of spirit? The um, um, experience that you want? What will it not just feel like, but what is that quality of spirit that it will feel like? Will it be, when you have that money, will you have quality of life? Will you have freedom? Will you, what will you have? Will you feel special? What is that? Put your attention on that. That is very key. And then you're going to co-create with spirit in bringing that forward. So you have the essence. You're going to be in your heart. The next step is this piece of co-creation. Knowing that your soul, which is, is, is connected to everything, everywhere that universe of abundance. Oh yeah, you want abundance. We have to connect to that field of abundance to bring in abundance into your very cells and fill it with creation, the essence 
of creation that you want to experience and have come forth in your physical plane of existence. Okay, in order to do that, as you know, I've talked lots and lots about guided meditation journeys to connect to the quality of spirit that is yours to connect with. I do this in private sessions, in my immersions, in retreats, in workshops, you name it. The key is to go into that universe of abundance. We're not going to do that today, but the key is to feel yourself expanding into that field, asking to connect to that essence, whether it's freedom or quality of life. Maybe it's confidence. If it's a soulmate, maybe it truly is a sense of soulful love or your sense of belovedness. Maybe you want peace on earth. Well, you have to connect to peace first, and it's a universal quality. It's not something that's sitting inside you um, right now, or you'd have complete connection to it, right? So then what you're going to do, yay, is connect to that field, expand into it through a guided meditation journey. And uh, on my website, I have something called the Soul Radiance Guided Journey that you can get for very few uh, dollars to be able to do a guided meditation journey if you have not done one with me to be able to connect to that field connect to that essence and the huge key is bringing it into your heart so that you are co-creating with the universe of all creation the field of abundance bringing it into your heart into this realm of beingness so you are co-creating through that heart of yours that beautiful way of creating. That is soulful manifestation in its essence. There you have it. <laughs> so if you want more money, this is the step. These are the steps to get there. There is a soul of money. You have to connect to the spirit of it. And I want that for all of you. I want you to have that sensation that anything is possible and you can create it. And this is the magic formula for doing that. Would love to hear your comments below and you can email me as well. Let me know how that's working for you. And if you have any tips that I can share uh, further about manifestation and if you have any questions about it, I'm here to co-create the next level of spirit-informed manifestation with you. In deepest blessing, and feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you'd like to get all of my videos, and go to soulmastery.net if you'd like to be on my email list where I serve up, <laughs> that's a great way to put it, even more wisdom and love and support from this beautiful universe of ours on a weekly basis, and then some. Much love to you.